the circulatory system. The circulatory system, it is also called the cardiovascular system. It is responsible in transporting nutrients, oxygen, and other essential substances to all parts of the body. It is also responsible in taking away carbon dioxide and other waste materials to the different excretory organs. There are three components of the circulatory system. The heart, the blood vessels, and the blood. The heart. It is a hollow muscular organ that is responsible in pumping the blood throughout the body. It is located behind the sternum and between the lungs. Pericardium is the protective sac that enclose the heart. Myocardium are the heart muscles or the cardiac muscles. It is responsible in the cycle of contraction and relaxation of the heart or known as the heartbeat. The four chambers of the heart. The atria and the ventricles. The atria or atrium, these are much smaller and have thinner walls from the ventricles. They act as reservoirs for the blood entering the heart. Right atrium holds the blood from the other parts of the body and the left atrium holds blood from the lungs. The ventricles. These are bigger and have thicker walls from the atria. They function in pumping blood. The right ventricle pumps the blood to the lungs and left ventricle pumps the blood to all parts of the body. Septum, a thin wall that divides the heart into its left side and right side. Valves are flaps of muscles that prevent the backflow of the blood and ensure that the blood flows in only one direction. The blood vessels. These are tubes that serve as passageways of blood to reach different parts of the body. There are three kinds of blood vessels, the arteries, the veins, and the capillaries. Arteries are thick blood vessels that carry blood away from the heart, the oxygen-rich blood. Aorta is the largest artery in the body. Arterioles are smaller arteries. Veins are blood vessels that bring the blood towards the heart or the blood with carbon dioxide and other waste. Their walls are thinner, less elastic, and less muscular than arteries. Venules are smaller veins. Capillaries are the blood vessels that serve as the network of arteries and veins. The capillaries deliver the nutrients and oxygen to the cells and the carbon dioxide is a waste product that is removed by the capillaries. The blood. It is referred as Red River of Life because it delivers vital nutrients and essential things such as oxygen to the different parts of the body. It also carries away waste materials like carbon dioxide and excess water for excretion. The components of blood. The liquid part known as plasma and the solid or cellular parts, the red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. The plasma. It is a liquid part of the blood that carries nutrients to the cells of the different organs and other waste products for excretion. 
The red blood cells are also known as erythrocytes, produced from the bone marrow. They carry oxygen from the lungs and transport it to all parts of the body. It contains hemoglobin, a substance which is rich in iron and gives the blood red color when it combines with oxygen. The white blood cells are the leukocytes. These are referred as the soldiers of the body because they protect and defend the body against diseases and infections. They are also responsible for immune responses. Platelets are the thrombocytes. These are responsible for blood clotting. When some blood tissues are damaged due to wound or cut, the platelets bond together to help the blood clots to prevent the loss of the blood. Circulation It is the continuous flow of blood around the body and going back to the heart. The paths of blood circulation Systemic circulation, pulmonary circulation, and the coronary circulation. Systemic circulation it involves the whole body system. The blood flow starts from the left side of the heart to the different parts of the body and back to the right side of the heart. In this circulation, the blood leaving the heart is rich in oxygen or oxygenated blood. Pulmonary circulation. It involves the heart and the lungs. The blood with carbon dioxide or other waste products or deoxygenated blood flows from the right side of the heart, then goes to the lungs from the lungs, it takes away carbon dioxide and gets oxygen and returns to the left side of the heart. The coronary circulation. It is the movement of the blood through the tissues of the heart. Did you know that? Your heart is as large as the size of your closed fist and it beats approximately 100,000 times per day.